good kitten internet. Um, I wanted to quickly mention something before I started. Uh, somebody had asked just how much space this takes up because I had been commenting, you know, about running it at 60 frames per second instead of 30 and so on. And somebody wasn't sure how much space this was taking up. So this is my Might Magic 6 directory. Forgive the slight graphical glitches. OBS really doesn't like capturing Explorer windows. Um, this is actually where all of my renders go. And for a frame of reference, the entire course of my recording so far up to episode 19, since this one's still recording, I'm, it's obviously not there, is 217 gig. Now, to be fair, this does include my recording of Might Magic 6 episode 11 that had no audio, then the two other recordings, plus a few other files, like some of the maps that I was doing, basically any time I need to do editing. But, I mean, the vast majority of the files outside of maybe this one test is, well, 215 of the 217 gig. So yeah, this takes up a lot of space. Uh, each episode, once I switched over to the um, 60 frames per second, that would be these. They've been about 12 to 18, 12 to 19 gig in size, basically. So they're pretty big. I thought I would mention that since somebody had asked. Let's go ahead and get back to my Magic 6. I believe I said good kitten internet. If not, good kitten internet. Uh, once more, I'm wearing a cute cat shirt. I should always specify because all your internet are belong to us. Um, for me, today is Monday. It is currently 19.49 p.m., not the year. I just finished eating, so see, leftover sauce. Um, another attempt at creating a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, entire dish inside of my Instant Pot, so um, sauce, chicken, pasta, once more, did not turn out well. I think my sauce is a little too thick to pull this off properly, so I should probably not add in as much tomato paste. Anyway, let's go back to my Magic 6. Where was I? <laughs> I don't remember. It's not even been that long. It's been one day since I played. Alright, so I probably should have actually looked at the previous video before starting this. Alright, so New Serpical, Kriegspire, uh, Silver Cove, not a full moon yet, but that is in Freehaven. That is in Kriegspire. That's in Frozen Highlands. Or as I said, Frozen Wastelands last video. Um, this is here in, whatchamacallit, Castle Iron Fist, so I'm going to do that first. I believe that's actually what I said last time. Uh, Defacing the Altar, that's in Silver Cove. Rescuing Manny, that's in Blackshire. Destroying the Werewolf's Altar is in Blackshire. Destroying the Book of Liches is in Darkmoor, and placing the statuettes is pretty much everywhere. So, make sure I don't have anything in my inventory I need to enchant or sell. Um, accuracy plus 11 is probably better than what I have. Yeah, I saw the accuracy plus 9. I was just checking other things. There we go. Might as well sell while I'm here. Right, so, um, potions. I think I'll probably do the potions as the second half of this video, because this dungeon isn't that long. And I said I was going to. I'm not going to end up doing it between videos, like I said, because, well, I obviously for Actually, we'll go with this. If this video... Wow, that's a weird effect. Huh, apparently if I'm in the right angle, the clipping ends up being nothing but green, as opposed to sky. Also, these goobers are back. There we go. I still haven't figured out the rhyme or reason to when they respawn. Is it day? I don't think it's day, but it's certainly possible that it's day. I don't even know why I flew over here. I could have just gone through the teleporter. I'm a little out of it. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, right. So the reason why I'm out of it 
is that I received my new video card today. It's actually, here, let me, it's actually in this box here. And it it's a brand new GTX 1080 Ti, like I ordered. I think from EVGA. It's totally upside down from EVGA. The problem is that it's the wrong model of 1080 Ti. And I'm getting really picky, yes, except I specifically ordered a certain model that had the correct video outputs for me. And I don't have the correct video outputs in that model. So either I give up a monitor, which sucks, or I return it, or yeah, it's, it's a huge headache. So we are in Snurkles, Snurkles Caverns. I can speak, I swear. Once more going through my standard of, you already broke something. Going through my standard of always clear out empty hallways first. Is this the one where I can find cave-ins from gold veins? Yes, it is. Cave-in. Always, without fail. Let's get some light on the situation. Um, always explore the open spots. Also, I'm going to double check to make sure there were no gold veins that I passed up. No, okay. And these are not actually doors, so this is the only way to go anyway. But wide open space, always explore the wide open space first. Do, 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 do. So how are you? Hmm, my camera is slightly tilted up. Uh, make sure that looks right. Yeah, that looks better. I don't know why this one's running away from me. Were you already injured? Yeah, okay, that's why. And then there's this disaster of an area. On the plus side, I have Inferno. And that handles a lot of these goopers. Caps lock. Inferno! Vampire bats are nearly dead. That's fine. Okay. Yep. This will have to do. If I remember right, there's actually a trap right behind me that causes me to teleport into the room further. There's dwarves on the ground, okay. That's the reason why I'm not really moving back or anything. <laughs> Just the look of that is ridiculous. I should totally use that as my... Um, whatchamacallit, thumbnail. Inferno! Inferno! Okay. There we go. Remember there's other weird things about this place, and not just the fact that there's mushrooms on the ground. Like, I think I can hit the crystals. Well, that's lowercase, so I know I can't hit that. Crystals. Yep. Mushroom, mushroom. A badger, 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 badger. If it wasn't so hard for me to... There's something about this. Ah. That would be great if it was anything but of earth magic. The one spell skill I'm not going to put anything in. Anyway, um, a badger, 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 sorry. Useless crystal. You're not useless. You're pretty just the way you are. All right. This, 
This type of dungeon's a nightmare for me because everything's wide open. Bones. These bones feel weird. I'm gonna double check. I don't remember if this was a... Okay, yep, it's fine. Hmm. Only works on one person, I'm guessing. Yep, okay. Let's take a look at magic resistances. Ah, actually, I probably chose the right one that time. Poison resistance. And I chose the wrong one that time. You're the one with the lowest poison resistance, right? Yeah, there we go. And bats? Bats. Lots of bats. Inferno! That was easy. Leather armor of crappiness and orange, empty, green. Yeah, you're going to get orange. You're going to get green. Because that gave you a significant amount of hit points. Hooray! All right, cleared out that side area. Time to head over here. Why, hello there, dwarves. Hello, dwarfies. And broke. Fixed. Yay, fire blast. Um, you're immune to acid, so there's not much of a reason for me to do that. Mm. To be honest, these guys aren't too hard anyway. The worst I can have happen is I get stun locked. And I don't think there's enough of them to stun lock me. Not anymore, at least. I hit hard. To be fair, these are fairly easy enemies. I'm I'm a bit overleveled, which is weird because you have to go with Mire of the Damned otherwise. Orange, orange, red, white. Well, white is you, red is you, orange is you. There we go. I have 81 luck. Nice. Gems? Cave-in! I'm, now I'm curious about something. Is it always a cave-in? Or is it random? It's always a cave-in. Okay. Just curious. 331 gold. 471 gold. I didn't loot this body. And it will bother me if I don't. What is with this un weirdly shaped room? I don't understand. <sighs> Hi, bats. I don't care to bother using magic on you. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Black liquid, I think that's some type of penalty. I don't remember. Because this is the only place in the game that it shows up. So that is poison. You could just take all the poison. And then I will cure it. And this is an elevator. Is this the one that was trapped? All right. Inferno! Inferno! More Inferno. Fireball. Now it's...
that's within I can get hit easily to him range. What's if I aim really far back? Nope. Oop, something broke. Probably armor. Hey, look, I was right. It's almost as though they only break armor. So when most creatures in this game, when they break something, they break a specific type of item. Dwarves always break armor. Uh, dragons break anything, if I remember right. Nope. I should probably heal. Power Cure! There we go. Still in yellow, though. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, um, so Creator pointed out, so a, f um, a few episodes back, several episodes back at this point, um, this would be like seven episodes back now, um, I had tr been trying to figure out what in the world thieves were stealing from me, and Creator pointed out what they're probably doing. It's that they are using stun. So I'm just getting stunned. Um, I didn't realize there were anything in this game that would stun. Apparently there is. Yeah, I think that switch opens this. No, it opens that. Hmm. Whee! Bats. They're almost threatening. I mean, disease is annoying, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not even bothering to cure it. I think it's disease, at least. Yeah, it's disease. Mostly because I have cure disease spell, so... Again, this is not exactly a threatening dungeon. Right. It's worth money, at least. And you are empty, white, empty. Okay. I want to say there's something here. Oh. Hi, bats. No problem. Cave in. I'm just going to trigger all the cave ins. That doesn't do that much damage. So, I should figure out something new to talk about, So I'm starting to run out of things to talk about at this particular point of the game. This is the one that I think teleporting you. We have our first door. Have we cleared everything that doesn't require a door? Yes. Okay. This is the one that's the trap. I remember this place. Who's got the damn key? We have a key for Snurkle. Don't we? Hmm. Let me check something really fast. So, beacon, set beacon in your only available spot. Beacon, recall, Mire of the Damned. How long does your beacon last? One hour. That should be enough time for what I need to do. I just don't remember if I have to check in with him. Yeah. Oops. Wrong side. No? That's not it. Hmm. I remember doing this. I remember it was something dumb. Did I seriously not get Snurkle's key? forgetting about this because I forgot something back in circles minds that explains it okay it's like I should have the key but no I messed up well 
Do you seriously only have one rank of water or something? Water one. Yep, that explains it. Okay. Let's do a quick run. Recall. Fire the damned. Let's fly. Because it's going to take me longer than a game hour for me to fly over there, so I'm not going to worry about uh, setting a beacon. Unfortunately for me. I'm going to get cursed. Oh yeah. This is something I forgot to do earlier. I need to hit this obelisk. Okay. Now I can continue, so I never have to deal with this damn zone again. I I have to deal with this zone again, by the way. Snorkel's iron mines are up here. Right here, in fact. Okay, where did I miss things? I see it now. So I didn't go through this door. That explains a lot. Also, I might as well restore oh, your hit points. Other side's magic. That'll do. All right, let's just run. Okay, there's enemies here. Good. Sweet, it's oozes. Just my favorite thing. On the plus side, I have Fire Blast now, which is a lot more effective on oozes. Oozes break everything. Yeah, Fire Blast is a way more effective anti-ooze spell. It doesn't work on things immune to fire, but it's actually a really effective spell. You're jumping weird again. These are cell doors. I saw you devils. So I believe if I hit the last one of these, I open all the cell doors. Yep, and I'm gonna get surrounded. Right, fire blast, devils are immune to fire. Of our power up. That's a problem. Mm, that's also a problem. Let's switch back to sparks because that's reliable. Um, let's go with. Uh, really, water magic's still my best shot. Alright, one effect. Disease. Yeah, you should just cure that right now. You're the one with our power? Yeah, you are. Reset that. Hit things. That's better. It's still the same theme of a dungeon, right? It's good enough. So, um, we're basically at the point in the game I don't like, which is I just need to grind and finish up the easy stuff. On the plus side, it's the easy stuff. It's not going to take me that long. It's part of the reason why I say I'm, I've am i been over the third point, even though, number of quest-wise, I'm nowhere near over the third point. Just die already, worker. You have like one hit point. Go away. Let's switch you back to Fire Blast and kill you. All right, all of the doors have been opened, if I remember correctly, which is why I'm not going as far back as I normally do. This is good enough, though. Ooh, it's a nice reward. 
That's enchantable. That's really good for leather. That's not enchantable. Um, yeah, see, I'm killing two oozes in one shot now. It's great. That's why I'm just going to be attacking using her. It's basically not worth me attacking using anybody else. Crappy bow, empty, red, blue. This one is the one I believe that has the key. Yeah, killing two in one shot is usually a good thing. Maybe at some point I'll actually show you what the spell looks like. it was in here. Maybe it's not. Purple, yellow, green. Purple is speed. How am I doing on speed for everybody? Speed 54, 42, 40, 45. Ugh. Accuracy. Let's actually give it to one of the lower ones. And that's endurance 73, 50, 66, 50. Let's get you up to 75 at least. Thought it was that one. Maybe it's this one. Door is locked. There we go. We Graphical glitches! Yay! Everything's going to become a key. You are all keys. Yay! Anyway, Snurgle's key. You want to know? Want to defeat Snurgle, do you? Well, he knows how, he's, how he stands among most dwarves. He's holed up in Rockland's old cavern, surrounded by a horde of his loyal dwarves. If anything were to happen in there, he'd just immediately lock himself in his private little room and let his followers handle it, which is the locked room. You'll need a key to get into his room. There's no way you'll bash down a high-quality dwarven door. I was a steward for Rockland. I know that room well, and I happen to still have a key hidden on me. Fortunately for you, I'm in the cell because of Snurgle, and there's nothing I'd rather see than his reign of put to a quick end. Here's the key. Think of it as payment. You're getting me out of the cell. Also, there's a rumor going around that Slicker Silvertongue, Wilbur Humphrey's representative on the High Council, is a traitor. People are saying he's been seen in several temples of Ba, and everyone knows the temples against the king. So, Gim says that there's a traitor on the council. Slicker himself. All right, recall Castle Iron Fist. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, let's hit the temple first. There's not much a reason not to. There we go. And run back. Oop. How are you always awake? Ah. Uh. I don't think it's triggering based off of the... I'm just going to ignore it this time because I'm in a rush. Okay. Yeah, I am going double speed like I wanted to. Because I've got a lot of running back to do. Whee! Oops. I'm actually just navigating based off of the mini-map, so don't feel too bad about not knowing how the hell I'm moving anywhere. Oops. Ramps are hard when you're moving at double speed. Ramps are hard. Also, let's... How am I doing on haste? 29 minutes, okay. Stupid elevator. I could have just cast jump, but meh. Alright. East. Alright. Who's got the key at the moment? You've got the key. I've got the power! Bam. Notice behind me. 
So the way I normally deal with this is with temp... Oh, that's a lot of dwarves. Um, normally the way I deal with this is by Lloyd's Beaconing behind all of those goobers. I didn't cast Lloyd's Beacon this time because I forgot. So I'm going to cast it by Inferno! Inferno! Let's repair your armor. So one of the times I played through this game, I made everybody get 10 ranks of armor just because I was tired, or not 10 ranks, uh, seven ranks of armor just because I was tired of dealing with constant repair items. Uh, isn't Snurgle one of these? Yep, there's Snurgle. Snurgle's a dwarf lord. I don't even think they have different stats. Inferno! Why do you keep breaking his armor? Inferno? Inferno? Yeah, you'll notice that I'm only casting Inferno. I'm trying to thin the herd in front of me. And I don't have too much longer to go. I can actually turn slightly more now. Inferno? Inferno. One more up for the big guy. Inferno. Inferno. Even the Dwarven Lords are starting to have some hit point problems. This is actually a very deadly area if you weren't, well, me. Inferno. Inferno. Stop breaking my freaking equipment. Power Cure. This is why I like Power Cure. Alright. You all are no longer the problem. You are the problem. You can start seeing a little bit of what Fire Blast looks like. Oh. Wrong character. Right character. Okay. The reason why I'm casting Inferno is that he doesn't really have a better spell to cast. Um, I mean, taking a look at his ranks, he's got four fire. Uh, Shrap Metal will be the next best spell to cast, which, to be fair, it's not that bad of an idea. It's not great because I still have low rank of Shrap Metal, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Are you kidding me? So many items breaking. All the time. Come on. We're starting to get down there. You stop breaking my shields. Fire Blast, which has the same sound effect as Meteor Shower for some reason. Uh, Inferno? I am actually thinning the herd, by the way. So I just realized that I don't have Wizard Eye up anymore. I will fix that once it's her turn. So I need to see how bad things are going. Things are going bad. I'm surrounded on every side. I may actually need to run soon. Ugh. Running against these goobers. I'm gonna switch to sparks. Power 
Cure. Sparks. That's why I normally just try to Lloyd's Beacon back. But, oops, wrong character. Not this time. <laughs> this has been adventures in what not to do when playing Might Magic 6. The mandate of dwarfs? Uh, how many more of you do I have? They're all really low hit points, too. That's the silly part. Do you have enough hit points to do another Inferno? Because that might be more effective. Yeah, that was more effective. Most of them are really low now. Um, how are you doing? 18, 7. I could throw another potion at him and he can get off one more Inferno. So I'm going to do that. Yep, that was worth it. Okay. I only have two more dwarves in front of me. This is a lot easier now. Now everybody's here. This becomes possible. Hooray for possibilities. What are you? You are all... Well, you're low on hit points, so I'm going to take you out. You're also low on hit points. I already killed Snurgle, didn't I? Eh, well. You're low on hit points. I think this dwarf lord is... Well, technically the younger dwarves are less, but... Uh, yep. Two of you are... There we go. We did it. We did it, Internet. Although there's still enemies nearby. The door is not locked. Oh, um, this is actually a glitch... Oh. This is actually a glitch dungeon. Oof, you are really low on hit points. That is not good. Uh, I am going to put Mordred back into your hands. So many axes here. Just so you heal a slight amount. Okay. So yeah, the glitch here is that if you reload, or if you um, teleport back in, that door can close behind you. Ugh. Stupid glitch. You picked up a ring. Let's put you back where you have no inventory space. There we go. Hey, look, there's a lever here. And there's another secret passage! Yay! Oops. Did not mean to hit the barrel. Okay. Red, empty, blue. Blue, red. I hit that one, didn't I? Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, do I even have enough spell points to cast telekinesis? Not yet. And I probably don't have enough hit points to fire trap disarm, but let's find out. Letter to Snurgle. Snurgle, we have been unable to ro locate Rocklin anywhere. Whatever hole he crawled into must have swallowed him. I know you require his death to subjugate the rest of the dwarves, but we have searched all over and Roth have not been able to locate him. Loonstone. I actually don't know who Loonstone is. Salvate, salvate. Not even worth picking up. Okay, I'm still alive. It's still good. It's still good. But there's still dwarves here. Or bats. There are bats. Glowing dinosaur bones. This was... What did the glowing dinosaur bones do? Was that a minimum spell thing? Let me look that one up. Glowing dinosaur bones. 
and then six. <laughs> because I have to specify that. Uh... They'll teleport you back to the entrance. Okay. But they didn't. Oh, those are the ones that teleport you back. An antique guardian helm. Okay, yes, please. All right. Now we can finally leave Snurkle's Hell. I mean, um, caverns. How are we doing on... We've got 36 minutes. It's as high up as I can fly. Uh, my tablet is terrible at telling time. So that noise that you probably didn't even hear because it was probably too quiet for the um, microphone to pick up is my notification to go rate my day. Uh, how my day's been and so on. It's a mental mood tracker thing. Oh, great. You cast... I forgot how bad that is. Anyway, um... The mood tracker is supposed to be triggering at 20. It's currently 2028. For reasons it doesn't actually trigger on time. I'm not entirely sure why thought about moving it over to my laptop. Why am I flying around? I need to Lloyd's Beacon back to the Mire of the Damned fly around over here talk to Anfil Smithers quest Oh glorious day! With Snurgle's passing we can now search for Rockland to put him back in power. Eternal thanks to you for this, and dwarves everywhere owe you a light. debt of gratitude. So now we have Master in Axe for zero. So yeah. Our knight is now a Master Axe woman. Which all that really does is add plus four to damage. It's not a huge difference. But you know. It's a difference. Snurgle's Axe is slightly better than a Dwarven Axe, but Snurgle's Axe can't be enchanted. And counts as a quest item. It's a long story. Anyway, you need to go over there. Because Dwarven Axes can definitely be enchanted. You can't be. You can't fit anything more anyway. <sighs> Just store you temporary. You are enchantable. You are absolutely not enchantable. You are not enchantable. Because you're already enchanted. And nothing else is going to fit properly. Yeah. That'll do. Um, I'm in yellow. Run away! Anyway. Um, it's only been 43 minutes. This has actually been a short episode. Let's... Oh, um, how am I doing on leveling up? I can level up to 36, so I can level up six times, which is nice, but I think I can do better. Just gonna pause. What other quests can I do potentially quickly? That's going to take an entire episode by itself. This is actually a really short quest. You know what? Let's do it. I did not mean to pass that many times. Beacon, Recall, Kriegspire. There we go. Um, Town Portal, New Serpical. Go up to Heal. Recast Haste. Beacon, Kriegspire. Let's start navigating Kriegspire! Ah. Um, later on, the shops in Kriegspire are actually useful. But where we need to go is up here. There's a couple of quests that we need to do. This is the first one. So remember when somebody said that there was a hermit to the, uh, what you call it, west of... Whitecap, this is the hermit they're referring to. It's the hermit on the mountain. 
So Strongguard needs a miracle with the weather, eh? All this time I thought he was the one responsible for making it snow continually. I could break the enchantment on the weather easily, and if you hurry back to him, I'm sure you can claim responsibility. So we finished the console quest. That was it. Um, you'll notice that there's some flying creatures around. We need to be a little careful. Most of them can kill us, but we are in a good position to not die from most of them. Because we have ICBM spells. These are earth elementals. Earth elementals will break every bone in our body. We are not in a good position to fight those. So I'm not going to. Dungeon off to our right again. But the dungeon to our left is actually where we want to go. It's right here. This is the demon lair. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's full of demons. Uh, let's go ahead and cast Day of Protection. And Day of the Gods. So keep in mind, I'm temporarily 30 levels higher than normal, so I'm level 60 at the moment. With gobs of everything. This is the Demon's Lair. It's a big room full of demons. There's nothing else in this dungeon. Prismatic Light actually works fairly well on them. Ice Bolt works well. And this... This Devil of Ba here is actually the objective. Technically, if you wanted to speedrun this, you run in, kill the Devil of Ba, and then immediately tap... Excuse me, time portal out, because there's no reason to bother with anything else, because you're speedrunning it. In our case, I'm going to actually do this the right way, which is to kill everything. Um, I don't think that... Oh, that does do damage. Okay. I was not expecting that to work. So that Devil of Ba right there, that's actually our objective. Now, we are going to be taking crap tons of damage. That's the reason why I'm not going to move them from this position, because the flanks also have devils around, and I don't want to deal with those. What I want to do is try to kill people as fast as possible. So I'm going to be burning through massive amounts of magic. Hence why I'm actually using Dragon's Breath. Although that does so little, it's probably not even worth me casting now that I think about it. Oops, I actually meant to cast. Not light. Prismatic Light is basically the double spell point, double damage version of Inferno, but it works really well in Devils. It's strange because Devils are normally immune to magic. They are immune to magic, right? They're not immune to magic. What the heck? Okay, I'm not going to question. I know they're not immune to ice, because ice works really well on devils. Uh, let's switch over to... So they're strong against fire. There's no reason for me to use fire magic. I can use lightning bolt, I guess. It doesn't do that much damage, though. Ice bolt's definitely going to be my best option. Now I'm just going to melee the thing. Because I actually do a lot of damage in melee. Alright. That is our objective. Devil plans. The contents of the scroll are difficult to understand, mostly because they are in a strange language. A few of the diagrams, however, show the locations and patrol patterns of the devils. That's actually all we needed here. I'm still going to kill everything else, though. Notice I'm still in yellow. Because... I haven't really done much of anything. I could town portal back, but what I'm going to do is move slightly forward, triggering more devils. That devil's not that bad. It's only casting Firebolt. Admittedly, it's master level Firebolt, but the higher level ones actually cast... Um, uh, I have the spell, right? No, I don't actually have the spell. It's the spell here. It's uh, Incinerate. It does way more damage. I woke up some more. 
Notice it's a pentagram on the floor because of course it is. Wait until they get into my little alley here and then start fighting. And these devils are actually not that bad because I rolled really low um, on, whatchamacallit, difficulty. Yeah, these are all green. They're relatively easy to fight. You just walk through a wall. Like, you just don't care. Yeah, devil spawn are the easier of the devils, but... Yeah, this is the least difficult dungeon of the game. By virtue of... There's... it Or, least difficult to navigate around, I mean. Are you the last one? I think you might actually be the last one. Yep, you're the last one. There's nothing else in here, by the way. Like, pentagram just does nothing. It's a small room. Anyway, we just completed two more quests, so let's go redeem them. So, white cap. Um, white cap, for reference, is where we're going to end up next. I probably should have teleported here last for efficiency purposes, but eh, screw efficiency. Yeah, I don't care about your fireballs. And I was looking outside my window when the weather broke and the snow vanished. A miracle, a genuine miracle. You have done my people and me a great service. Yeah. Count Eric von Stromgard as your friend forever. For your services, I grant you my favor in the High Council. Long may you live, O enemies of winter. Uh, do you actually get the title, O enemies of winter? No, nope, you just have ended winter. So by the way, this is your quest log for things that you've actually done. We've done a lot of things already. Each one of these are a separate quest. Well, not the yellow ones, but the previous colors. So that means that we have completed... ...27 quests, four of which are actually required. Um, five, actually, because there's one of the green ones is technically required. Yeah, we've completed 27 quests. Good job, us. Um, we have finished off winter, or we have finished off the Devil Stronghold, so we can now go over here and talk to, is that Osric Temper, if I remember correctly? Yeah, it's Osric Temper. Is it this actually the faster way? No, nope, this is Master Plate Training. Finally. I don't want to beg. I don't need a reputation decrease anymore. Council Quest, good job. With the information you brought back, we now have the intelligence. We need to stage an attack on the devils. And with that post out of the way, we can hit them where they won't expect it. I give you my full support in the council. Hopefully the council will actually do something for once. So, we still need to defeat the warlord, which is in Silver Cove. And we just went all week, because I wasn't paying attention, again. Hello, Fireball. So let's go over to the council building, because we heard something about Slicker Silver Tongue betraying us, right? So here's the High Council. You'll notice that we have three thumbs up. Now, we have four thumbs up now, but we should have five. As long as I am a member of this council, you will not be permitted to visit the Oracle. I am not convinced of your sincerity and will not grant your request. No matter what you do, Slicker Silver Tongue will not do it. Um, Lord Newton is the only other one that we're missing for the council because we have to go deal with Garrick's Forge. Um, also, we're back up to Saintly Reputation. And we're going to stay at Saintly for the rest of the game, basically. Um... Are we doing on leveling? We can now level up to 39, so we can level up nine times. I'm gonna finish all of the council quests before we finish leveling up. And I could do all of white cap now. Uh, well, I mean, it's time for us to stop for this particular recording anyway, but I'm just curing weaknesses, you know, as you do. Yeah, it's 
close there. That's kind of what I thought it was happening. Okay. Um, how are we doing for quests for what we have left? Hourglass of Time. So this is for Council Quest. This is promotion qu second promotion quest for our knight, which we really need to do. Um, we need to full moon to do Altar of the Moon. How are we doing on that? We're at three quarters moon. Uh, we're not too far off of a full moon, because if I remember right, full moon's at the end of the month. Or is full moon on the 15th, and I, or 14th, and I've already missed it. I'm pretty sure it's end of month. Um, retrieving Dragon Tower Key, which is in Icewind Keep, which is once more in Silver... Or not Silver Cove, in White Cap, Frozen Highlands. I'd much prefer using it that way. That's in Silver Cove, that's in Blackshire, that's in Blackshire, that's in... We'll get there soon enough. And statuettes, that is in everywhere. So, I think what I will end up doing is saving here. I'm just going to heal up slightly. Saving here. No, well, let's go to... Oops, not wrong spell. Let's actually head over to White Cap finish off the stupid warlord quest already. I'm just going to go fly over to there. It's this way. So we can all of the things that will be shooting at us. I don't feel like cleaning out white cap right now. This is actually where we need to go. Okay. We will stop here. We've done 20 episodes, yay! All right, and uh, what I'm going to do in the meantime is actually mix a bunch of black potions, and then I'll probably start recording again. Uh, I may not record tonight. I don't know yet. Anyway, see you next time, Internet. <sighs>